So for this observational drawing task we're going to draw something reflective. I've chosen something very simple, just a little silver spoon so that it's reflective. Um, the shape is quite simple and it really is going to help us focus on just the light and dark properties in these reflections. So place your spoon on a white surface if possible so it's not distracting and what you're going to do first of all to make sure that the proportions are correct and to make sure it's nice and uh, symmetrical and to make sure that the perspective is correct we're going to draw a line that's the same angle as your spoon as you see it so that's your centre line from there I'm then going to draw into it and really really focus on the shape of how the spoon changes. So it gets slightly wider at the end of the handle and then it gets much thinner when it moves on to the spoon head. And then it curves round. So take your time with this, you can see that I'm drawing multiple lines here. Once you're happy with the shape of the spoon then you can rub out the lines that are incorrect. But for just now, I'm just drawing multiple lines until I am happy with it. Now, I'm reasonably happy with that. Actually, I'm going to change this bit down here. Depending on this perspective, you might find that the side that's closest to you across that centre line is slightly bigger. And that is the case with mine, so I'm going to make this side slightly smaller. Okay, now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to rub out the lines that I don't need. I'm also going to rub out those centre lines because we obviously don't need them anymore. So make sure you rub them out so that they don't show through your shading. Okay, so I'm reasonably happy with that. Now what we need to do is really look carefully at the tone in the reflections, okay? So in order to help us do this, I'm just going to do a really quick tonal gradient at the top. So really as dark as it can go. That's the darkest tone, and then the lightest tone is the tone of your paper. So, we want to gently and carefully get lighter each time. So we can use that to help us match these tones up with the tones that we see in the spoon. So first of all, the spoon that I'm looking at actually does have a tiny little ridge on the edge of the handle. Next up, I'm gonna start with the tone on the spoon head, okay? So up here, there is some funny shapes in the reflections, okay? So I'm just gonna draw them out roughly, very lightly with my pencil first. So I've got a curved shape along here, and then I've got another curved shape along here. Now, this area here is really quite dark, apart from a little highlight in here. So I'm just gonna outline where that is. And then I'm gonna go into this area really, really quite dark. Probably one of my darkest tones, one of these two. So 
So it starts off really dark and then it gradually gets a little bit lighter. So use your pencil on its side rather than vertical and you'll end up with a much softer tone. Depending on if you're doing this with natural light or maybe a really strong light above you, you might have really, really sharp highlights. Mine aren't overly sharp but there is still a contrast. Okay, after that, it gets much, much darker up at the top here. And then there's some really interesting shapes. It must be the window or something reflecting in it. So really look carefully at the reflections. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the spoon handle. So really carefully, you can see the ridge around the edge of the spoon. It gets slightly lighter and then because of that little border that goes around it, it gets slightly darker again. And then up here, it gets much lighter, there's a light streak and then there's a really dark streak. Now if like me you've gone in with too much dark tone, you can use the sharp edge of a rubber and just take it away again. Because I need to reintroduce some highlights here. Okay, I'm really quite happy with that. Just to finish it off, I'm going to add a really, really simple shadow. Very, very faint, one of my lightest tones from my gradient scale with very little pressure on the page. And just add a little shadow underneath. And that's us. <laughs>